Hi everyone! So, what do we have for today? The battlefields go to the territory of Russian Terroristic Federation. The new tactic of Russian night attack on Ukraine. And we have some interesting news from NATO. Well, it's time for the news about war in Ukraine on Yakolev Twins channel. They entered almost without resistance. In this way, footage of the destroyed border crossing from Ukraine to Russia's Belgorod region appeared on the network. The flags of the formation called Free Russia Legion appear in the settlement of the mentioned region. Mikhail Podolyak, advisor to the head of the President Office of Ukraine, emphasized that Ukraine is watching the event in Belgorod region with interest and is studying the situation, but isn't directly related to it. The Freedom of Russia Legion covered a front of 40 kilometers and crossed the Russian border not for the first time, confirming how unprotectable it is. They operate in groups limited in number on lightly armed vehicles. Well, because of this, Russia thought about transferring part of the troops from the territory of Ukraine to Russia to protect and defense. <laughs> and it is worth noting that this formation called Free Russia Legion consists of many volunteers from many countries, especially from Russia. So, during the operation in the Belgrade region, not a single Ukrainian fighter entered the territory of terroristic Russian Federation. The Russians' new tactics of night attacks on Ukraine. Now occupiers try to bypass the southern air defense as much as possible. So, they mainly bypassed the temporarily occupied territories and then dispersed throughout Ukraine. Sleepless May. Almost every night and every other day in May, Russian terrorists bombard Ukraine with ballistic missiles and drones. They especially focus on shelling Kyiv because of the losing situation at the front line. Unfortunately, there was destruction, wounded, killed civilians by Russian missiles. Among them are children. In this way, Russian occupiers try to attack on our psycho and nerve system to break us down. On the night of May 28, Kyiv experienced the most massive drone attack since the beginning of the war. On May 29, the enemy fired up to 40 air-based cruise missiles type of X-101 and X-555 from the nine strategic aircraft from the Caspian Syria. At the same time, the Russian enemy attacked with Iranian kamikaze drones ahead from the north and south, a total of 35 strike drones. Currently, the occupiers have started to use ballistic missiles of the Iskander type from the north for attacks on Kyiv because this missile arrived in two minutes. And those uh, Russians hope that our air defense system won't have time to react. At the same time, the Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile complex was brought to Belarus and also their military began training on the Iskander. Also, the Russians use other tactics that can fly over five hours one way to launch a dozen missiles over Ukraine from the Caspian Syria. And here's some version from monitor resource, why specifically from the Caspian. Firstly, part of these uh, military vehicles and missiles they has the property to fall down. Therefore, launches are made over a water basin or over a territory without populated areas. And secondly, the reaction factor. The closer the missile is launched, the less time the missile air defense system has to react to them. But I think that this option isn't very relevant for a missile type of uh, X-101 and uh, X-555 in view of the speed and the work of our intelligence. Now, Ukrainian anti-aircraft defense system showed almost 100% efficiency during the latest Russian attacks. In the Bakhmut direction, the number of combat clashes has decreased. Airborne troops of the Russian Federation and motorized rifle units entered to Bakhmut to replace Wagner mercenaries. They have now moved to a defense position and not offensive actions. The enemy continued to focus its main efforts on attempts 
to completely occupy Lugansk and Donetsk regions of Ukraine. Also, the intelligence agency said that Russia had begun to implement a provocation with chemical weapons. In order to disrupt the counteroffensive actions of Ukrainian armed forces, on May 27, the Russian occupiers began to implement a provocation with the use of chemical weapons in the temporarily occupied territories of the Zaporizhia region. Also, the same situation can be in temporarily occupied Crimea. Meanwhile, the German Cobra counter-battery radar station is somewhere in Ukraine. This station can locate enemy artillery at a distance of up to 100 km and identify up to 40 targets in two minutes. Also, there is information from Spiegel source that Ukraine has officially requested from Germany Taurus cruise missiles. The German equivalent of British Storm Shadow missiles with a range of up to 500 km. And we should understand that such requests aren't made simply just like that, because they were firstly discussed at meetings like uh, Rammstein and approved. So it means just uh, <laughs> it's a time question where Ukraine will receive this missile. The NATO Parliamentary Assembly recognized Russia's crimes against Ukraine as genocide and the terroristic regime in Russia as racism. Unanimously. Also, on May 25, the Rammstein U meeting was held. The transfer of the F-16 to Ukraine was discussed. The meeting was also dedicated to supporting Ukraine in the ability to maneuver with armed vehicles. <laughs> well, let's also go through other news. China. China has dedicated to build a new gas pipeline from Turkmenistan instead of the Russian power of Siberia's second. Despite calls of a strategic partnership, Xi Jinping has opted for Turkmen gas, which cost China 30% more than Russian gas. Then the European Parliament declared that Hungary, oh my lovely Hungary, Hungary is unfit for the presidency of the European Union. Hungary's numerous violations of European Union law make it <laughs> ineligible for the rotation European Union presidency in 2024. Members of the European Parliament plan to adopt a resolution of this content next week. Euroactive reports. Also from interesting news, the office of one of the world's largest defense enterprises, BAE Systems, will open in Ukraine. Then last week, United States of America announced a new military aid package for Ukraine. White House National Security Advisor Kirby said about some positions that was included in this list. This is a main position, not a uh, full list, but uh, there, will, there should be ammunition for Patriot air defense, missiles for HIMARS, aircraft missile Zuni, Avenger air defense system, and Stinger. Well, of course. Of course, I can't pass by the next news. Infographic of one of the drone attacks on Moscow and Moscow region. <laughs> well, it shows that the part of the drones were recorded near the residence of Vladimir Putin. Yeah, this bunker moth. And in the area of Rublovka and Ilyska Highway, where the houses of the Russian richest elite are located. According to some sources, those drones were Chinese and were launched from the territory of Moscow region. So <laughs> Russian terrorists started to bombard themselves. And actually, Ukraine, Ukraine officially had denied its involvement. The Ukraine DIA application was presented in the United States of America. Also, DIA application will be implemented in Colombia and Zambia. Negotiations are ongoing with 10 more countries. On May 23, the first DIA in DC summit took place in Washington. Deputy Prime Minister of Innovation Development of Education, Science and Technology, Minister of Digital Transformation, Mikhailo Fedorov, presented the achievements of Digital Ukraine and presented the vision of further development. Children's Protection Day was celebrated on June 1st. On the night of June 1st, as a result of another Russian attack on Ukraine, more than one child were killed and injured. Actually, also more, more than 2,000 Ukrainian children were deported to Belarus by Russia. 
According to the People's Anti-Crisis Administration of Belarus, more than 2,000 Ukrainian children, in particular orphans aged 6 to 15, were sent to so-called recreation camps and sanitarium on the territory of Belarus. Also, since the beginning of the invasion, Russia has attacked the healthcare system of Ukraine more than a thousand times. The attacks killed at least 101 civilians and injured many more. Also at May, at the end of May, Ukrainian children finished the school year. And there are the realities of the life of Ukrainians. Graduation was in the yard of a school destroyed by Russians. This is all due to the fact that the world is asleep yet and still don't understand what a great evil this terroristic Russia Federation is, that it must be destroyed. Well, it was the main news for the last weeks. Glory to Ukraine, stay safe and support Ukraine for the peace of whole civilized world. With my hands up, hands up Feel the bullets from your head Rush, head rush I can see you but I can't touch, can touch Cause I feel numb So infected with your bad luck, bad luck Keep on riding till it goes up, goes up